this week we're going to be talking about why one of these, excuse me, can make a big difference to your videos. Keeping it super short this week. So last week I was in a, a coffee shop that I just discovered. Totally got told about that coffee shop, but did not discover it. Home. Slight downside to this is that it is actually quite a significant walk. Might get on a bike. And this is it. You would never know it was here. Hey man. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. And long story short, after being that creepy guy who likes to take photos in cafes, I got talking to the guy who owns the place and he asked me if I could come back and just shoot like a 30 second, 40 second video for him to use on his social media and I said yes, because he gave me lots of coffee. Side note, empty handed today. You have good days, you have bad days, and you have days where you run out of coffee. I, ran, I don't even know why, how does that happen? No idea, just didn't order it, forgot. First time in years, don't have any coffee in my house. Let's push on. So I turned up the following week and it's a cool place, like don't get me wrong, this, this, is, this is the cafe. And as you can see, it is kind of stark, right? It's dark in there, it looks like the inside of a container ship container with black walls and white strobe lights. Great for a photo, so I took a couple. But not quite so good, I thought, for a, a video. Like, I just feel like it would be too boring, too dull. Personal opinion, some people might love that kind of thing. I wanted to add a splash of colour, that's where this comes in. If you don't own one of these, you should definitely get one. They've been around for a long time and there's lots of different types of these. This is an Aperture model and it's very, very cool. I mean, oh, you can change the hue on here and in this particular example, I wanted to introduce reds and blues. You can also change the brightness, you can change the saturation, you can do pretty much anything. And so this can be used for just lighting you up in a desperate situation. But you can use them for so many things. I mean, they're just so cool, right? You could use them like this. Or like this. Or like this. Both true. All, all at the same time, right? It's true. So in this particular example, I wanted to add a bit of colour because I felt like if I didn't, the whole video would just kind of look like this. He had loads of cool things in the room that, that these sort of lights would work well with. Uh, he had a, a cold brew coffee machine, that, like a slow drip glass machine. Is it a machine? Piece of equipment. And it would catch the light really well. He was going to steam the coffee and steam the milk. Steam the coffee? He was going to steam the milk on his coffee machine and that steam you wouldn't really have seen it very well without extra lighting and using some kind of blue or reds would have made that steam really pop out. Anyway, I'm joining on, make your own mind up. This is what I shot.
that's what I shot. Agree or disagree, totally up to you. But I think adding those colors made a big difference to the video and made it way more interesting. I told you I'd be fast, I can do it sometimes. If this video is of use to you or you think it was even vaguely entertaining, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video next week. Take it easy. I'd finish with something really exciting, but I have no creativity in me because I have no coffee and my soul has died. In fact, I could just order coffee online. That's it. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Because I've had no coffee. That's, that's why.